you look at every animation studio, and they started with the short film. The mythology of Pixar goes back to the five guys sitting in a hallway making Luxo Jr., making Red Stream, making Tin Toy, and constantly challenging each other. Art challenges technology, and technology inspires the art. You know, and that's, that's it, in a nutshell, the way we work at Pixar. The early years were hard years. We were selling hardware. Then we sold software. In the background, we had a group that kept on making animated shorts. It was something Ed Campbell really loved, but still, it was not our business. Evan Osby and Bill Reeves were teaching me how to use the modeling system. And there was a Luxo lamp sitting there on my drawing table. And I started animating it as though it was alive and thinking about, okay, if a Luxo lamp was alive, how would it move around? Then the fateful day that Tom Porter came into the graphics room with Spencer, his son. And I started thinking, hmm, what would a baby lamp look like? And in the computer, I was able to scale different parts of the lamp differently. We didn't have the computer power to do cameras. We didn't have the computer power to do background. So I was like, how about a wood grain on the floor? We have that, right? Yeah, okay. I can work with this. John had a very clear idea of what the limitations of the medium were, and so he told a story that he could tell in that medium and not have to invent stuff that was impossible to invent at the time. And we premiered it at SIGGRAPH. As soon as the lamp moved, people started going crazy. And then the ball came in and they were going nuts. It's only a minute and a half long. Before it was done, people were, were giving it a standing ovation. And people were just talking about it forever as the first, the first time they'd seen it. And, and the it that they had seen was the first time they'd seen emotion and character and storytelling in a computer animated film. They laugh, they cry, they go out singing the songs. And I'll never forget Jim Blinn, one of the giants in the computer graphics research world, came to me after the show. And he said, John, I have a question for you. And I thought, oh no. Jim Lynn, he's going to ask me about the self-shadowing algorithm. I know he is. I don't know that. He goes, John, was the parent lamp a mother or a father? And I just smiled and I thought, we did it. We did it. You know, it's about the characters. Tin Toy was probably the hardest of the shorts. It was this great little idea that I had gotten from looking at videotape of my nephew playing with his toys. Everything he picked up went into his mouth and he slobbered on it. I thought, imagine what it must be like to be a toy in the hands of a baby. That baby is like a monster. It was a challenge. And it had our first human character, the baby, in it. It was a much more organic kind of character. Skin, facial animation, even though when you look at it today, you sort of, ooh, <laughs> that's a weird looking baby. It was the first 3D computer animation ever to win an Academy Award. But the most important thing that Tintoy did was plant in our heads the idea of toys being alive. And out of that grew Toy Story. <laughs> Our long-term goal was to make an animated film. In fact, everybody in the industry knew this group was dedicated to doing that. Hello? Oh, oh, yeah. oh, 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 whoa, 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 did I fly you? As we got near the end of it, we realized that was one of the things that helped make us who we were. Ed and I said, you know what, we should continue doing short films. Because for what it did for me as an artist, as a director, I wanted to make sure and we give that opportunity to other to other people in the studio. You want to be able to have an opportunity to experiment with things without committing to it for a full feature film. But we do think that people enjoy them. And that's enough reason. If people go to our films and have a great time, they will succeed. And the shorts are part of that enjoyment. <coughs> for those of you nearest our theater entrance, Please stand away from the curtains until the doors have opened completely.